going to try to do here today, originally when the heat with, bright, heat with skiting system came out, um, they had a two to one pull on the pilot to the glider so that, um, so that you were obviously pulling more on a pilot. And we experimented with this in the early 80s and uh, because we were the first ones to do deep water prone starts actually coming up out of the water on floats. And there was a lot of pressure doing that and we weren't sure if it was going to pull the pilot through the control bar or not. But it didn't, we held it out and it worked. So um, this, this might be a good idea to do um, for tandem pilots who are carrying the big boys. It puts a two to one pull and it's simply like this. Here's a ring right here. Your bridle goes down here. It's called the threaded bridle system. And then it goes through the ring on the pilot. And then it goes back to the ring here. And then up to our release. Come forward a little bit here. Like that. Okay. Now, if you pick the glider up, please. Hold it right there. Now, again, what this does, it puts a two to one pull on the on the pilot, so that it might help uh, it might help um, deterring a lockout situation. With this threader bridle system, the only thing that I suggest is different um, cause, because the threads because it threads out is that you really want a weak link at this point in case when it threads out, the control bar gets wrapped around the. Uh, the, the bridle gets wrapped around the control bar, then you're not in trouble. Okay, so basically this is how it works right here. Back up so you can see the whole, whole bridle, like that. We release right here, John, just the bridle. Just the bridle. Okay, we're gonna release. Goes through there, like that. And the whole bridle releases from the pilot. Okay. Again, we go to the pilot, to the belly of the pilot, because we're doing land towing. We go to a ring that has a weak link on it. And then back up. It's called the threaded bridle system. Very good.